Wait, wait, hold on. Who the fuck is this on my line this time? Unknown number. Probably my PO, so I won't decline this time. Hello? Pap, you a bitch. When I catch you on Manila, you that's all my homie, nigga. What? Fuck your homie, nigga. I got, I'm in traffic right now with it on me, nigga, so come get up with me. Matter of fact, where you at? I'm gonna get up with you. Don't give a fuck who you with. They get hit up with you. Ambulance pick you up, they get picked up with you. Motherfucker. Who the fuck can match Pappy's energy, nigga? Nobody. You know? They say, I don't know if he was backdoor. I never really did a video talking about Pappy. But look, man. I don't know if he was backdoored. I don't know, man. I relate to Pappy a lot because he was a Taurus. You know, I'm a Taurus, right? And that Taurus energy, when applied, can scare some motherfuckers, you know? Because it's a bull. Your spirit, when you a Taurus, your spirit animal is a bull. Now, I try not to dig deep into astrology because it goes against the word of God. But a lot of that stuff is accurate, you know, and it helps you break down people, you know, you know, uh, Pappy, he rocked a bandana because he said he was a Joel Santana fan, you know, Dipset, Dipset has a big influence, I thought Dipset was going to win the versus battle because of their influence, they didn't, oh, that's another story, but Pappy, man, he, he should have known better than to be out that late without his immediate PBG members, you know? I think, if you ask me, Chemo was really like, I'm sure there's others around that he that had his best interests, but Pappy should have been more aware of his surroundings. Think about it. They say he was backdoor. You know what I'm saying? All right, now think about shit like this, right? Y'all seen his killer video? It was so many niggas in that video. You know what I'm saying? Now, I ain't even got to finish that sentence. But let me ask you something. You think all them niggas had his back? Or they just wanted to be in a video? Think about it. Think about it, man. You know? I mean, Pappy, he didn't want to die. You know, he escaped a few, you know. He took off running in a few incidents. At McDonald's, he got shot in the arm at McDonald's or some shit. Which is a smart move. He's supposed to run. You ain't got no gun. Run. Ain't nothing wrong with that. He didn't want to die. We knew he didn't want to die. But really, what the fuck really, like, possessed his mind? You know, we, we knew he was high. Because that's the, you know, that's the thing. This is why you don't get high outside. You know what I'm saying? You don't do that. You, he should have been more aware of his motherfucking surroundings. I could tell Chemo really had his back. I wouldn't, if I was Pappy, I wouldn't have been outside late at night unless Chemo was with me. Period. Pappy didn't choose all of his acquaintances wisely. You know? And he should have, man. Because that's talent we will never ever see again. I didn't even like his raps at first because I, I couldn't understand his flow. I had to study his flow first. Then I'm like, oh, okay. That, oh, uh, I, now I get it. No, oh, you know what I'm saying? After a while, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, man. Pappy, Fred, Pappy's a legend. You know, him and Duck are like the Tupacs of Chicago, man. Real shit, man.